you know what would happen if you were to suddenly decelerate? Like with what we see we're changing between NAV and SEM. Today, I make history. Me, my nail, your let's blow. Yeah, not pretty, is it? So why the fuck do we have this in this game? Like seriously, who thought this game mechanic would be a good idea? I'm convinced CIG have a bath salts bar in their office somewhere. It's almost like decision makers don't play the game and interact with the community. Yeah, you can probably tell I'm annoyed. But not with that stupid Atlas thing, not with the state of the servers, or the decisions made by the marketing team, but by this reply to Birdwatcher on Spectrum. I used to have faith in Yogi. I heard rumours of him getting his pilot's license for this, which I respect, but this reply made me lose a ton of respect for this guy. So firstly, the comment about how combat is closer. If you knew anything about the fights in the last flight model, you know at the very basic level that part of that skill was managing your speed and keeping it low so to have the most amount of maneuverability possible. Not only that, but you can fire at people from even further out than the last flight model. This comment is clearly a 1 out of 10. Combat is not more balanced. You're encouraging jousting. Are you even aware how boring that makes fights? If I see someone jousting, I'm out of there. I'd rather play Stardew Valley than fight those fuckers. In fact, you'll find most people are impressed and use that as their motivation. Furthermore, if you took the time and effort to learn, you should be able to fight multiple people. It's a great feeling to fight multiple people on your own. In fact, you'll find most people are impressed and use that as their motivation to learn PvP so they can do the same things. Looks like we got ourselves another 1 out of 10. Ship differences are more meaningful. Are you the one sniffing bath salts, Yogi? Did you watch Fight or Flight? Most of the people were using the same ships with the same weapons while firing at each other from 2-3 kilometers out. Fucking hell. 0 out of 10. Now to the comment about tunings. Yeah, no shit. The Interceptor archetype has encouraged jousting, even though Yogi previously stated that they wanted to get rid of jousting. Again, I just fly away. I rate the decision to have tunings like that a 2 out of 10. Maneuvering is terrible. Light fighters should at least be more evasive. As it stands, unless you've got enough PvP knowledge, you shouldn't be in one in the PU. Save your money for the F7A Hornet, a massively overpowered ship that never should have been in the game. The decision to limit evasiveness is a solid 0 out of 10. I have no idea what mining flow is, I'm hoping someone can chime in in the comments, but I'll give this a 0 out of 10 as well for the meme. Trapping mechanics. Y yeah, I, I don't know much about this either. Piracy is boring, I'd rather stick my hands in the blender to be honest. This gets a 3 out of 10 because pirates get bored and become murder hobos, further adding to this shoddy flight model experience. Nav mode feels vulnerable. Anyone with a functioning brain could have told you that dropping shields is going to make griefing worse. In point 23, I was in an F7A with M cannons. I two tapped a fucking 400i. 0 out of 10. Flight feels too slow. Are you aware that Mach 1 is faster than SEM? Mach 1 is 343 meters per second, over 100 meters per second than what we can do in combat. Also, did you know that during combat the F-16 can reach speeds of up to Mach 2? Being limited to current speeds is not fun or realistic. I know, I know, there's a balance between fun and realism, but in this case, added realism would make flight a lot more fun. 1 out of 10. And I gotta admit, I'm not too sure what Yogi means here. I'm sure someone can explain. Now that's a solid 5 out of 7 right there. Overall. The flight model surrounding Master Mose is terrible. It's not fun. The skill ceiling can be reached within a few weeks. CIG previously stated that Master Mose was also designed to increase the accessibility of PvP, but what they failed to realize is that PvPers are attracted to that challenge. Having a goal to work towards, whether that's being the best pilot or just learning the flight model, is kept engaging by having that learning curve be steep. Now, I mean absolutely no shade towards this org. This example that I'm about to give is about the flight model and not the org. Recently, I had a tryout for an org. This org, who are full of seasoned PvPers and are absolutely incredible pilots. Do not get me wrong. In both this flight model and the last. As someone who's barely done much PvP in this flight model, because I've been hooked on Mana Lords and other games, was able to get at least one kill and didn't get absolutely slapped around like when I was first learning PvP. Well, this left a sour taste in my mouth and caused me to dislike the game in its current state. I like to learn the hard way, and this flight model doesn't allow that. Everyone has a chance in a fight. I come away from the fights having no emotional attachment to them, I don't enjoy them, and there's no feeling of having earned that kill. Every fight feels and looks the same. There's little to no skill expression. Skilled players should 
be able to take on multiple people and win. Stop appeasing to the participation trophy generation. You're killing your own fucking game, CIG.